With that breaking news which is coming in, Congress makes it Hindu-Muslim. Congress leader Rashid Alvi shot another question at the BJP amidst the brewing controversy over its majoritarian attack. He said that the BJP will never let its Muslim leader take the chair of Prime Ministership in India. You are absolutely right and particularly Bharati Janata Party who is ruling over the country, they should change their mentality. Whether BJP will appreciate if Sonia Gandhi becomes Prime Minister of the country, whether BJP will appreciate even a Muslim of Bharati Janata Party becomes uh, Prime Minister of the country, not at all. So it is very important for our country that uh, uh, our thought should be changed in this regard. We are one and uh, our society should not be divided on the basis of religion. So let me go across to our senior editor Pradeep Datta who is joining us. Pradeep, when statements such as this come in, one wonders who is really injecting divisive politics into a secular harmony. Rashid Alvi seems to have forgotten that we have had Muslims even at the post of at least five of them at the post of presidentship of India in the past. Of course, under Congress's own regime for 10 years, the Prime Minister belonged to the Sikh religion. All of that forgotten in this hustle to try and hit out at the BJP. I think the Rashid Alvi has got a very short memory. He has forgotten that just only a few years back there was the Congress president. She was a Roman Catholic and the Prime Minister was uh, Manmohan Singh and he was given oath by none other than Abdul Kalam. He was a pre Muslim president of the country. And if we talk about India, India has got a diverse society. It's a pluralistic and composite culture. And I don't think that India need to take lesson from anyone. Yes, the Congress party and the PDP need to take a lesson from their failure. Already the political ground is slipping under their feet, but they are not learning lessons. That is what actually they need to do so. If today people are not voting for them, it is one of the reasons that their policies are not being liked. You have to understand a man from the deprived section of society whose father was into the business of tea stall and he has become the Prime Minister of the country and he is leading from the front. And yesterday while he was addressing the soldiers on the ground, they are from the different parts, different religion, different areas. And he was addressing Tantaranga, Mantaranga, Rahataranga, Chahataranga, Vijayka, Vishwas Taranga. Those were the words coming from Prime Minister's side. And here they are trying to play divisive politics. I think this is a moment of pride. Only 76 years back, we were able to break shackles of slavery. And today, the man of Indian origin is all set to become the Prime Minister of Britain. Isn't this a moment of pride? It is because mm -hmm. of the Indian influence is increasing. Right. And I think that is something what one needs to celebrate. Absolutely. Rather than finding in fact, do stay on with us. Amit Malviya is so also joining us, the head of BJP's IT cell. Amit Malviya, you have another statement coming in. Earlier in the day, you had fact-checked the lobby saying that India has had a Sikh Prime Minister, several Muslim presidents as well in the past, but now Rashid Alvi is saying that BJP will not allow it. Congress has. Well, I can't understand why the choice of the Prime Minister should be based on his religion, his ethnicity. Should it not be based on merit? I want to ask the Congress party, did they make Manmohan Singh the Prime Minister because he was a Sikh or because he was a former finance minister who was also the RBI governor for a very long time and understands a few things about economics and finance? What was the real reason why they elevated Manmohan Singh to the Prime Minister's position? His mm. being a Sikh or his being someone who understands finance and economics? Mm. The point here is that Rishi Sunak is a British citizen. He has born in Britain, he's been raised there, he's been part of the Conservative Party there, he was uh, a member of Parliament for the last seven years, he's been Finance Minister in this government, and he has now been elevated to the post of Prime Minister after Boris Johnson and Liz Truss uh, bowed out. So mm -hmm. clearly he has been in that position because of merit, because of his financial acumen, and London, Britain finds itself in the midst of a financial turmoil and they perhaps think that Rishi Sunak given in his experience might be the mm. best person to steer them out of it. Right. I don't think Britain has elevated him because he is a Hindu or a, Absolutely. a ma ethnic minority because if that was the case they should have elevated him to the Prime Minister's job before Boris Johnson and Liz Truss for example. Mm. 
Hmm. It's not about the ethnicity or the religion. It comes down to merit. That's what BJP says. That stop injecting politics, uh, communalism into political posts. Thank you so much, Ahmed Malviya, for joining us. There are other reactions also, similar ones coming in, fact-checking the lobby and contending that India already is secular. We don't need lessons and preachings from the West on inclusivity. First of all, it is a great day. Yes. Let us rejoice. Let us feel proud over the elevation of a very competent, able leader of Indian origin, Rishi Sunak, to become the Prime Minister of England. And I don't wish to join any political d debate today. India is happy, ordinary Indians are happy globally and also in India. Let us see it in that way. People will continue to react. Let them react. What should I say? except to tell them very gently that India has always appreciated its diversity and see the record of the contribution of the great leaders. Hmm? APJ Kalam became the president when Mr. Bajpayee was the prime minister. Ramnath Kovidji, a distinguished leader of Dalit community, became the president. Narendra Modi was the prime minister. The BJP took the initiative. So it for Draupadi Murmuji, a very distinguished leader of the tribal community and many others that a person of Indian roots has become the Prime Minister of UK, a country which once ruled India for several years. Instead of celebrating that, the Congress Party is back to doing what it does best, that is undermine India's image and play the fake Islamophobia narrative wherever possible. Dr. Tharoor, Mr. Chidambaram have questioned whether India respects diversity and would allow a person from the minority community to ascend to the highest positions of power and constitutional positions in this country. But having said that, even the topmost constitutional position of the President of India was held by APJ Abdul Kalam, Fakhruddin Ahmad, Gyani Zail Singh and others, all belonging to the minority community. Because what should matter is not whether you are from a particular ethnic group or minority group, but whether you have the merit to hold these positions or not. And that is why Rishi Sunak has also made it where he has made it. लोगों की आदत है कि समावेशी भारत की जो हमारे समावेशी संस्कृति है, उस पे संकी विकृति को कैसे हावी करो और कैसे रंग में भंग डालो? यहाँ पर कोई काबिलियत की कदर हुई है हमेशा और इसलिए जो लोग कास्ट कम्युनिटी और उसमें कम्युनलिज्म का तलका लगाते हैं, वो उनकी आदत हो गई है और ऐसे लोग इनकी तरकों की so let me go across to uh, Pradeep Datta who is joining us. Uh, Pradeep, as we were just discussing, it really isn't about religion. Why is the entire issue being communalized by the Congress party? After all, merit seems to be crossed out from their list. See, so far as the thought process of people of India are concerned, they are very clear. They are going for the merit. They are going for the people who, will, who is going to best represent them in the parliament. That's one of the reasons that they chose Prime Minister Narendra Modi. They thought that he's the right man who will be speaking for them and who's going to raise India's image. And he's a charismatic leader. Even today, he remains, even after eight years. And problem is with the mindset of these leaders who are often trying to inject that communal color to each and every good step being taken if you today take look at the president of the country Draupadi murmu she is representing the tribal community and that time also what kind of statements are given by congress leaders so they do not spare anyone in fact basically the problem is that they only want to see somebody, these Darbaris want to see somebody from the dynasty and that Congress party, either Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi to be made Prime Minister. I think the day they are going to do so, all the problems will come to an end. They will say that India is once again back to that diversity and that uh, composite culture and the, uh, that uh, pluralistic image that India is talking about. But the problem is that they have a visceral problem with Prime Minister Narendra Modi from day one. Ever since he has become a Prime Minister, they are trying to find out holes in skull and the re if you look at even the today the statement of Mahbubha Mufti also, the tweet what she was tweeting about. See, Mahbubha Mufti's Sarkar was known as Bhaiya Ji, Mama Ji and Mosa Ji Sarkar. Why she always wanted to be surrounded by her own family members when she was Chief Minister? Why not a Kashmiri Sikh or a Kashmiri Pandit was given that cabinet birth? Why Mama Ji, Mosa Ji and Bhaiya Ji? The, so she has no right to give lectures or sermons to the government of India what they should do. All they are trying to do is they are simply trying to malign image of the country. Why West Pakistan refugees were not given due rights during Mahbubha Mufti's time? Why she was
concerned about them? Why Gorkha Samaj? Why Valmiki Samaj? Because all of them were from the minority community. And why today she is beating chest for the minority community? Because she is not in power. So it becomes convenient for them to uh, deflect issues and then uh, try to inject that communal terror and try to hit out at the government. The reality is that the present government or any government in the past, a country's image remains diversity in unity. And the best example is Indian Army, Sir Dharm Sadbhavna, the Prime Minister whom uh, the Prime Minister was addressing yesterday at Kargil Heights because mm -hmm. they do not believe in any religion. It's an apolitical army. Even they try to politicize valor of our troops. That is what actually Absolutely. is in the PNF Congress party. They will try to find fault in each and everything. Well, uh, keep trying the developments on that front, but stay with us. There's another